daddy calls it Maybach, but my baby call it Vroom, vroom Hundred thou from the curry, yeah, he coming Do soon I do this every week, no, not just once in every Blue moon My squad against your squad, <laughs> you bitch, know your heart All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Josh We're at a toy show I don't know why, but we're here Here to support Aaron We have Karina, we have Cody And Brooklyn I don't think Cody's making a video, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> But, um no, we're here one to support Aaron, two Cody and Brooklyn were in town anyways, and this is on their way out. So it kind of just makes sense to stop in here and check it out. So we're going to go in here. It's nine o'clock. We did not make it early enough. We had a late night last night. So we're going to go in here and check it out. I think this is the first time in like three years Aaron has done this show. So hopefully it's good for him so he can continue this, but we'll see you in there. Oh man. All right, Cody, we're in here. Here. You have your camera in your hand, that's a start. So, this is uh, first time seeing it, yeah. This is uh, the main area. I think you can see something, maybe. So, I'm just kind of walking around. Obviously, I'm looking for legions, looking at legions uh, mainly, and then I'll, I'll try to record some other stuff if I remember to, but I get pretty distracted by the, uh, the legions. There's the new Monkey King guy. I wish I would have gotten, but. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's cool to be uh, at a show again, but Varg, this is one that I wish I got off the in-stock sale. He's just really cool. Comes with the wings and everything. Plus, he's part of Athelia's uh, clan group, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. Then we have the Moose, and then Phobius, I believe, which is Athelia's horse, the Furious Four guy, and then Dubon. So, pretty cool. All right, Toy Department's booth, I did find Warthog. He's one that I want. He's just a really cool orc. And he's complete. Yeah, there's a lot of the Aerithier wave that I am missing that I want, but I want to do a couple laps and possibly possibly get him. I don't know. He's cool. Oh, yeah. I like him too. I really I like this horse. Chalice or whatever, but and the new All-Stars wave, the horse that's coming out has him as the the base of the Templar uh, horse. So technically, if I'm just patient, I, I'll get him. But I'm trying not to knock all this over. They have a couple of mythics. But still going to keep doing laps. Seeing what's out there. I can't believe that's 150 now. Looks so good. Uh, I know, it's crazy. Ice Castle, I'm not going to get it until I can find it actually. And then guys on the no, we got a little vintage -y Qui Gon Gen lightsaber. That looks almost like Qui Gon. I like how they put like a tan sweater on him, and that that was really it. It has an energy hum sound. Dang. Episode one figures are elite. Honestly. Yeah, before they re-released it, it was uh, quite a bit. Oh, micro machines. Some of a biscuit. Kika, if you're watching, remember we said we were going to buy these, dude. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> He'll get me once I start picking up legions. Let's see. Taking through stuff, man. Any Ahsokas? We can look for some Ahsokas. Let's see. This one's cool. What? That one's cool. That's cool. Deathwatch. Annie. Look at you guys digging. Look at everyone digging. Look at this family event. Everyone's digging. That's so sweet. So cool. Ah. Ah. I'm live. I'm not used to the camera. I'm digging. <laughs> What's up? Uh, all the vintage collection in there is uh, eight bucks. Okay. Um, and you know how everything with the prices goes. Just come yell at us. Yep. I'm trying to just, it lets me take home the better. Yep. I'm telling you, your video got like eight million views <laughs> with, the, with the ghost. Oh, that this the spooky one? It yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> it was real, man. I was surprised. Oh, man. I might ask about this 
That's the ghost that was in your house. Yeah, <laughs> this was the ghost that peeked around. Oh, I didn't see this the first time. The Crimson Empire. Wow. That's pretty sick. I mean, we can definitely find an Ahsoka. That's something that can happen. Um, were these only mythics here? All right, I'm gonna ask about Varg and what's up? Oh, the monkey guy. Yeah. I know. I wonder how much he is. He is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to try to grab. Him. <laughs> So I forgot to show this booth. This is our second time walking through. I forgot to show this booth. It's James, the CTS guy who runs the Columbus Toy Show. Um, this is his booth. He has a couple uh, hot toys. And that deluxe Luke. I don't really see too often. But that was just cool. And then we have some carded vintage figures. And then we have loose vintage figures. Down here. The Star Wars. Per usual, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But, you know, hopefully someone here does. We have G.I. Joe. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? <laughs> doing good? Yeah. Let's see. More loose G.I. Joes. Some Transformers. Oh, we got Ragnarok. Oh, son of a biscuit. That was one that I wanted to recoup at some point. He's a big beefy, though. He's awesome. Looks really good, too. Okay, I think it's... Oh, actually, there's one more thing I want to show you guys over here that I saw that I thought was pretty cool was this looks like it's a sealed sega dreamcast so craigers if you're watching you might enjoy this little bit of footage a little sega genesis dang that's an actual photo from altered beast wow 16 bit the ultimate dimension in gameplay we got the sega saturn what is this 32 oh 32 bit okay so that was probably a better one 40 times faster, 32,000 simulation colors. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We have some uh, Black Series. It's 40th anniversary, 50th anniversary? I have no idea. It's been so long. Anyways, here's the Cincinnati version of the toy show coming up October 29th. And then the next Columbus one is um, August 27th. So. I don't know if I'll be able to make it this one because I know PowerCon is, I know it's not that weekend, but it might just be too close back together, back to back to do it together. So we'll see. All right. Here we have the Monkey King, the figure Obscura from Four Horsemen. He looks pretty awesome. Yeah, Look at the soft goods and the detail on his armor and everything. I don't think anyone's really noticed it's it. Pretty awesome. It's on the doors for the Because it's the first release. I don't think anyone's noticed. We're going 11 One of those things. Um, I like that. I mean, it's 11 to 7. Dude, there's three head sculpts. You oh, see the one, the screaming one in the back? That's nice. That has the painted face. And then that one is just the normal face. Sunday will probably be about three. I think it's a flower. Something, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he looks awesome. Okay, this might be a thing. Might be a thing. Uh, All right, so Cody doesn't know this, but I just bought him one because he's been talking about it, and I bought myself one. So this is a birthday present for him. I'm very excited to have that though. Okay, we are back at the house, and want to say I don't want to start like come back and doing videos and then apologizing for the lack of content and stuff. But I'm sorry that it was probably a little shorter of a video. Um, the show was good it was fine it was just me getting back into the routine of doing that like i felt awkward recording it was like i just started doing this again so i felt a little awkward recording it stuff i didn't really have a whole lot of confidence behind it and plus it was the today's the day that cody and brooklyn were leaving and we went to the show um i think i mentioned it earlier just because it was like on the way out of town technically so i kind of wanted to you know still say goodbye to them and hang out with them as well so it, it was a good show overall. It was just kind of, it was rushed um, on my behalf, like me rushing us getting out of there. Um, and just the simple fact that I haven't recorded out of in public in a long time. But anyways, uh, my one pickup is the Monkey King. I don't, I think I showed a little bit of a close up of him, but what I didn't know is that he actually has four head sculpts. Um, I think when I was looking at Roma's booth, which is where I bought these from, um, that head sculpt was covered. Sorry, the glare on my computer is 
really making that hard. But anyways, um, and I did pick one up for Cody. Um, Cody has talked about buying a Mythic before just because he wants to have something to collect and to kind of express his creativity and, and something that's not such a solid franchise as like a Star Wars or Marvel stuff. He kind of wants to, I don't know, just have some fun with things that you can kind of express with imagination and not have it like set in stone that this character is only this like you can kind of make it up a little bit but anyways um yeah so i got him one for his birthday and just because he's my best friend so why not I, I like to treat my friends and give them stuff and you know do as much as we can um for each other but packaging wise on this thing i was just kind of messing with it as i was fidgeting the packaging on mythic legions and just the four horsemen stuff is just so premium it's so good so um yeah i love that and, and um we ran into brian carbar customs bam um on our way out here is a little qr code if you want to scan that it looks like that goes to his instagram um we go way back um all the way back to when i was collecting dragon ball z yeah it, well i mean like in 2019 i think he sent me uh, a diorama for my mythic legions which is ironic because now he collects mythics, which I don't know if he did at that time, but I digress. Um, so we've gone way back. Um, I've supported him. He supported me multiple times with, with everything. So he actually gave me a couple head sculpts that I believe he printed off. Um, I think, hopefully I'm right on that, but I believe that is true. Uh, but I'll show these off real quick. He, this little dwarf head right here, which is really cool. Um, him and Chris James, um, they both helped me paint that figure that I showed off in the last video. Um, so he kind of printed these off just for me to test out and mess up very badly. So once again, brother, thank you for that. But these are some cool, cool heads. Hopefully I can do something with them. I'm not really sure. I like this one a lot with this like thorned crown looking thing on them. It's really cool. And then we have a, a goblin, oh shoot, a goblin head. Which I know Chris has painted one of these, I believe, that looked pretty gnarly. So, it's pretty good. But once again, Carvar Customs. Uh, looks like he... Yeah, this is the, the Instagram QR code. So, go check him out if you don't already. Once again, thank you, sir, for that. That was very generous of you. Um, hopefully, we can mess these things up a little bit. But, um, anyways, I think that's going to do it. Cody Brooklyn, if you guys are watching this, um, I love you guys. This was... And that comes from Karina and I. This weekend was a lot of fun. Obviously, dinner and a show, whatever the hell that was. But um, it was super fun. Um, I hope that we can get together soon. Our closest trip is with the boys and uh, the cabin trip. But anyways, love you guys. Thank you guys for coming up here and, and hanging out with us. I'm glad you guys got to welcome our new home. Because they're the only people that are probably going to stay here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new or if you even care to. Um, I should be doing a live stream, hopefully soon. I'm hoping this coming week, if not this weekend, um, do a stream, open up some mythics. Maybe if Cody's free, he can hop on too. Maybe we can open the monkey guy together, something cool like that. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I will uh, see you hopefully soon. It was good. Aaron, Roma, Good show, man. I'm happy to have you back and doing that stuff for the local people. So I appreciate you. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, take care. And as always, may the fix be with you. I got the juice like I'm Tupac. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm Tupac. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm Tupac. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm fish. This rollie so heavy is fucking my wrist up. My pinky ring look like your salary. Counting his money is hard to count calories. Bitch, I've been eating better than I ever had. Chilling with the homies on the